Hello friends, it is already the second Sunday in Advent, and today the title of our devotion is Stars. We're going to take our Bibles and we're going to open them up to Genesis 35 so that we can read verses 9 through 15 together. So go ahead, take your time, grab your Bible, get it opened up to Genesis 35, and then we'll read verses 9 through 15 together. All right, friends, are you all set? I am too. Let's go ahead and get started. Genesis 35, 9 through 15 says this, God appeared to Jacob again when he came from Paran Aram and blessed him. And God said to him, your name is Jacob. No longer shall your name be called Jacob, but Israel shall be your name. So he called him by his name, Israel. And God said to him, I am God Almighty. Be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations shall come from you, and kings shall come from your own body. The land that I gave to Abraham and Isaac, I will give to you, and I will give you the land to your offspring after you. Then God went up from him in the place where he had spoken to him. And Jacob set up a pillar. Oh, he loves his pillars, doesn't he? And Jacob set up a pillar in the place where he had spoken with him, a pillar of stone. He poured out a drink offering on it and poured oil on it. So Jacob called the name of the place where God had spoken with him, Bethel. All right, friends, we have got um, God coming to Jacob again, reaffirming his promise, renaming him. And again, Jacob knows that he needs to mark the occasion with a very simple item, right? A stone. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into our devotion, which as I mentioned, is stars. A star on a door in the backstage area of a theater means an important player prepares for the stage in that room. It is a designation of the importance of the role and with it comes the privilege of privacy. Instead of being forced to reveal nervous or bad habits to the other cast members, instead of elbowing for mirror space, this special person has this special place set aside for them. You know, sometimes it's meant to be lonely at the top. The isolation provides the luxury of quiet to find one's center and a peace away from the turmoil. It also bears a certain loneliness. The burden of the event is felt in those quiet, solitary moments. From the midst of the people, God would choose those for whom would sit behind star doors, ones who would have the privilege of private time with God, ones who would bear the burden of the drama. One day, many years after Jacob and Moses, Ruth and Samuel and David, God would send one like no other. Christ would place stars on every door. Such is our burden, such is our privilege to live behind starred doors. Let's pray. Holy One, help us to rest within our quiet spaces wherever we find them, even within the corridors of our imagination. In the aloneness, help us to hear your tenderness and feel your voice. That with the other stars, we may honor Christ who bore the lonely burden of the drama for us. In his name we pray, the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I love you so much, friends. And we get to be the ones who open our mouths to let others know that there is a star on their door. I love you so much, and I will meet you tomorrow. Bye.